This podcast is brought to you by Clarison. They're the leader in enterprise project and portfolio management. Visit clarison.com to learn more. Welcome to the DPM video cast where Kelly and I give our five cents on everything going on in the world of digital project management. Now, one question that came up in our Slack team that we wanted to discuss, there's actually a question that comes up time and time again, and it's all about how to manage multiple projects. Um, But the question is really around how many projects is acceptable. So the the question that was being discussed is, can you all tell me what you think is is an acceptable number what does that mean? Number of digital projects one project manager can or should take on at a time. So how to manage multiple projects is tricky. And obviously, the more projects that we have, the more complicated things get. Uh, But from my experience, there's no simple answer here. Kelly, though, I want to start by asking you, how many projects are you managing right now? Yes. Okay. So I actually, in my new position here, I have one account, one client account, and I have two separate projects because they are multi-million dollar projects so that there's a lot going on. And how I figured this in a past life when I managed a PM team is as simple as I could boil it down, which is, you know, with, with the caveat that nothing can be just an equation um, when it comes to looking at capacity for PMs. But I try to think of PM time, as some of us have known, as 20 to 25% of the total budget, um, and then being 80% billable week. And so we figure out what that looks like. Um, and I would say that just because we can doesn't mean we should. So know when to raise your hand when you're hitting that burnout. Uh, but right now, I would say the two projects, one of them takes about five hours of my week and the other easily 25 to 30. Uh, so in past, in past roles, I think my sweet spot has been about seven to eight projects that are under a hundred thousand dollars. Um, but again, it all depends on what that engagement look like and what phase of that engagement you are in. Because if you're in a lot of the discovery phase and the requirements gathering, it's going to take a lot of your time. Yeah. And a lot of your weeks. If you're in the dev implementation phase, you'll be a little bit more skilled back with, you know, standups with your dev team. Uh, And in the QA phase, it wraps up again, or if you're in the support or maintenance agreement. So you have to not only look at the number of projects, but the types of projects that they are and the the attention that they uh, require. The 25% PM time can vary from client to client. Some clients of mine have been 5% of the budget for PM time. So it depends, even though I don't like saying that, but hopefully some of that kind of helps a bit. So based on your calculation, then, so taking this idea of, Uh, yeah, if project management time is 20%, so that would mean that you can manage 200 hours, so five times 40 hours a week of the resources, that's like 20%. So you could manage 200 man hours a week. Is that kind of how your calculation goes? Yeah, so, yeah, and so I think that's an interesting, that's just an interesting way of looking at yeah, how many resources, how many people on my team have I got working? Does it account to about 200 hours worth of work, other work going on around me? Uh, I think that's a, that's a really good uh, starting point. But I think, you know, as Kelly said, as I said, it all depends on the projects. It all depends, you know, you might have one really huge complex project that actually has multiple PMs on it, or you might have lots of small maintenance kind of projects. And you can run a whole bunch of them. You could run 20 of them. So there's no way of knowing. And I don't think that we're ever going to get to a point where we can say a project manager should manage no more than 10 projects. Well, they can if they're really small. So think about the projects you're working on. Think about how much resource you're managing. And I think what Kelly, the formula Kelly's talking about, which is, hey, you probably shouldn't manage much more than 200 hours of other people's work per week. Uh, is probably a, a kind of a good uh, starting point. But then there's always exceptions. You need, you need to think about, okay, well, what role is the creative director playing? What role is the development lead playing? Maybe if there's other people managing the teams on a more uh, granular level, maybe you can spend less time uh, managing that project. So I hope that makes everything a whole lot clearer on how to manage multiple projects. 
Uh, but in case it doesn't, come and join us on Slack. Go to the digitalprojectmanager.com forward slash Slack. Uh, join our team where we're discussing all kinds of questions like this every day. But until next time, thanks for watching.